hi my friends welcome back to another channel we are nearing the end of our peaky blender journey today we're going to do episode five the second to the last of the entire series so hopefully we start getting a little bit more closure start to see how things are going to tie up and get a little bit more answers and just i'm scared of the ending i'm scared of this ending i really am i feel like we've been through a lot together okay well without Without um, delaying any longer, let's go ahead and get started with episode 5 of season 6 of Peaky Blinders. What are you up to now, Tommy? <clears throat> Isn't it interesting how over the seasons we started off with them walking as a group, the entire family, and slowly but surely it's been less and less and less, and now a lot of the times we have these solo scenes of him walking. I think it really shows a lot of... Um, it shows how much he's lost, all his family members and the consequences of his actions, really. Having to walk this lonely road by himself. Yep, and visit from Tommy is not good. <laughs> Mr. Shelby, I only gave the opium to your brother because he gave me big trouble. Oh, my brother. <clears throat> I'd like a pot of green tea. It's like... Yes. If I was in this era, I would try to, I think I would try to avoid the Peaky Blinders at all costs. Because whatever you do, I feel like it's a lose-lose. Like in this situation, or Billy, like they're forced to do something that'll harm themselves and then they have to pay for it. It's too much, too much risk. It is my duty to take responsibility for the welfare of my constituents. The clock is still ticking. Yeah, I would start sweating too. To health. <clears throat> Women give it to their children so they can leave them untended while they work in the factories. If I hear that you're selling opium again, time will indeed run out very quickly for you. Do you understand? Funny that he's yes. saying that, but he's trying yeah, to sell stop. opium Mr. Shelby, to the, the states. But maybe this is his. Maybe this is a first step to to redemption and cleaning up his home. Please tell. Making spies. amends. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think Tommy's very much afraid of death. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a lie. He is. He is. Because it's the one BC he definitely can't destroy. Can how it took out. Ruby. Yes, sir, Mr. Yes. Shelby. There's any further trade in powder. There will be no more Montague Street. I'll have it demolished and replaced by apartments. By order of the Birmingham Urban District Council. Not by order of the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to welcome Finn's new wife, Mary, to the family. Ooh. Right, well, I'm very glad that I dragged myself out of bed for this. You know, I would have liked to see this interaction. I know we got a glimpse of Finn asking Arthur about a girl. I don't even know how long ago. But Finn is the baby brother. He's everyone's baby brother. I think it would have been nice to see how he, he, the new generation of the Peaky Blinders is, is carrying on. Who is Mary? Look at her. She seems so interesting. I would have loved to see more of this interaction, just like how, um, you know, like where did Arthur meet Linda? Because I don't know where I remember Linda was just there at the beginning of the new season. Um, this is, uh, oh, missed, missed, missed. But that would have been nice to see to see Finn a little bit more grown up. I'm not sure. I'm assuming he's definitely in his twenties now. Hmm. There is one more item of business, Johnny. Tom. You know, did Finn introduce her to Tommy? The wedding, all of that stuff. Oh boy. I met a girl. Share the shade of a hazel tree. Oh, Lizzie. Later, this lad was born. I hope she doesn't feel as if he's replacing Ruby. Son. No. I, I I can't imagine what Lizzie's feeling right now. Resentment, anger for him maybe moving on. Um, but I think this is also Tommy, like what he just said, he's trying to look at life in a different way. I think this is Tommy trying to 
trying to lay out a foundation, uh, like try trying to get everything ready for when he dies, essentially. And he's older than Charles. He'll be able to maybe handle things a little bit more, more because if the business is handled, Lizzie's going to be handled. But then Lizzie might be mad that he's giving everything to this new young boy that he doesn't know compared to someone who's been there for him since the beginning. So... I wonder how this is going to play out. Plus, how is Charles going to react? I don't think he's going to look too kindly to an older brother just taking over the fortune. Um, yeah, like like Lizzie said, or just bringing him into the family. Because everyone here, everyone in the Peaky Blinders, into the in the Shelby family, has made sacrifices. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see the interaction between. Uh, Lizzie and Duke and then Charles. You have to earn membership of the family. Okay, well that's good. The moment, at least, the at least gets to know. Get Ooh, Ada knows. Some wounds I can try to heal. New wounds you can open no. Shelby breakfast for you, I don't drink. Oh. And I'm not Shelby. Oh. I'm Duke. Good. He has a confident sense of self. Hopefully he won't get lost. Put the kid in the blackboard and wipe it off the chalk. I won't be. If I had an unknown child, um I don't know how easily I would be able to bond with them and say son or daughter, you know? Can y'all imagine? Ooh, time to have a talk. My father was the Duke of Saxon Shore. Good for you. So he doesn't so believe that Tom's his dad? You can't fucking write not I can tell the time. What time is it, Mr. Shelby? That's what I can do. <laughs> you little bastard. Sneaky sneaky. <laughs> oh. Is there forgiveness in your heart for Arthur Shelby? No. Good good on you, Linda. Good on you. It's too much for her to, to take on. <coughs> it's too much. Work. Hmm. I believe you run a foundation. Oh, that's foundation what she showed up. Many missions across the world. She was always good with the with the numbers. He would like you to help my brother on his road to redemption. I think Tommy really could have oh, used her in, in accounting. I will write your foundation a check for ten thousand pound if you agree to look kindly on Arthur and to help him. Yeah. Oh, and he wants to make sure Arthur's all right before he. But I'm only agreeing to help him, not sleep with him. Hopefully, that line stems no, for firm in the sand. For that particular favor. Without Linda talking to Arthur very often, Almost. how does the the custody between their son work? Because I know the son was with Arthur in Christmas, but unfortunately, he was out of it on the stairs. Um. She pro Linda probably talks to the girls. I think. Apologies, okay, guys. I have chronic migraines. Um, Part of the reason my brother yeah. is back dealing with it is down to you. It's a stag. You see, I can use men like you. I need you to unload and store those weapons. What are these guns for? Because we've only been talking about the yeah, the luck. other cargo that starts with an O. Or maybe I missed something. You'd be a very rich man. Don't you ever say thank you. Thank you for being forced to make a deal. See, <laughs> man, he, he he literally even said a beating is still old to you. Oh my God, the bullet has his name. <laughs> is this like saying if you say no, we're going to kill you? I would assume so, since he just unveiled his whole business plan, right? The way you keep all this going, twelve people say thank you. Good point. You could close all this down. Or you could live like an ordinary mortal man. I want to know why I've carried on. It's so I can do this. Do this. Feel it? Junk doesn't even come close. Our evolution of Tommy. I'm trying to... Excuse me, but throughout these last two episodes, I really just want to see how his character has changed. In the beginning, we had this extremely energetic, ambitious, always aiming higher and higher and higher and higher. And we quickly realized that all of the, the Shelby boys were plagued with PTSD, right? 
author unfortunately um what got got with on junk and um alcohol alcoholism that's kind of what that was his go-to right john john we didn't see i didn't, we didn't get to see um obviously his character Tara, so he, he passed away but i would say that john um wanted did want to to fight a lot hopefully i'm not too off base with that and and tommy tommy's so interesting because like he said what what do you do this for for the power for the money we know that and the answer to that is yes to a certain extent but at the at, on the inner core is it for the adrenaline just like he said this whole time the adrenaline of doing all of this and continuously beating beasts because whenever he took a vacation he couldn't handle it he couldn't handle not working hope that made sense <laughs> soon mr stag my brain is hurting right now my last bit of business is done i will indeed be an ordinary mortal man I day. wonder if he's coming to terms with that. It seems seems like he already accepted it. Because with Ruby, he went up in the mountains looking for a cure. And he's not looking for a cure for himself. He's not taking the money. He's fucking religious or something. have some charge to bring against Interacting with Arthur would be frustrating. He's threatening to go to the police and People are laughing at you. But I think this is Arthur's way of coping or trying to, so to get sober. Go back to the roots he had with Linda in religion. Not even basically, actually, he literally just told me to, to fuck off. Ooh, Billy. Have yeah, right. you completely <sighs> absorbed this lifestyle? No, Jesus on the ground. I would walk yeah, away now. One thing got no, Arthur. Oh. What should we do? Bring me the fucking referee. His family just kind of accepted his violent burst. Used it, you know? He was the muscle of the group. I can't imagine what this has done to their relationship. I just wanted Lizzie to have a happy I ending. Still, it's just you and me. I hate that house now. I wish I could blow it up. We didn't have to say anything. That's exactly what it feels like right now. Like just kind of like a it's void, business. like a black hole. Always business. The American. But that's how Tommy stays focused. He's coming to Birmingham. Then I bet this is the last thing Lizzie wants to even think about. Do you want to know what that move is, Lizzie? Nah. Yeah. Your book of regrets, and I'm on there. Oh, he actually has I'm a book? Missed. I don't think, I, I don't, I don't think it's what she thinks, though. I regret marrying you, Lizzie. We through all of this. That's what I thought. When you married me, you married a man, and you married a curse. I feel like this gives us a nice glimpse of how much guilt Tommy carries on him. The thing is that I, I, I feel like Lizzie just. You know, everyone's constantly reminding her of her past, especially with the whole Oswald situation now. I bet she doesn't feel like she deserves or is, is good enough for this high standing in society. But I, I did appreciate that Tommy never cared about that. And this goes kind of show the double coin of, of, of Tommy. Like, yes, he is a murderer and a, and a drug trafficker and a, a lot of other things. But when it came to Grace and Lizzie, you know, when Lizzie decided to, or when Lizzie confessed that she was pregnant, remember he said, let's bring, bring life, right? And I dare I say, I don't think, um, I think it would have been extremely hard for Lizzie to get out of the life that she was living in. And uh, in a way, she has protection from the reputation of Tommy, from everyone harassing her about her past. I don't think that would be something easily um i don't think that was something that you could have easily gotten over especially in this era so like i've always said their connection or their relationship <clears throat> has always been special like lizzie 
Lizzie was not the primary choice. I remember the the horse race where Grace showed up and confessed how she she was excited that Tommy had invited her and then he used her for for that. That was heartbreaking to me. You know, and uh Lizzie has always seen Tommy in a different perspective. Uh, Lizzie's always been there for Tommy when he needed to be raw and open. And I think um over time Tommy grew to acknowledge that and we saw that in the scene uh, before every the whole family got arrested how uh, he said Lizzie's always been there for him and in that point she was the only one that was there for him so while Lizzie looked at him at a different light from the beginning um maybe not the very beginning but or before Tommy looked at her in a different light uh so it's been interesting to see them develop their their relationship bittersweet i would like to say bittersweet their connection is very sweet but the consequences like he said is also tough it's a tough pill to swallow um but again like i mentioned it would have been hard for lizzie to to make it out on her own moment in this room I love you you sound like you're ticking a fucking box and I don't know what's inside the box never have you let me in but she sees him I feel like she sees him I can't imagine combination to the safe <laughs> I can't imagine how if if I if my partner sounded like he was saying goodbye or like he was like she said just going through the motions and everything I did to make a connection with him or to get through wasn't working it would break my heart she I think she has to go through the morning of Ruby almost by herself she knows Tommy's there but it's not it's not as if she can really really lean on him Ugh, I love the show. It's so complex. It is a complex show with complex relationships. And that's what I like about it. You're the one that likes to be fucking difficult, eh? And you asked for Inspector Moss. And she's betting credit with us. You know... Makes a lot of money from football matches. Their intense confidence in themselves always... And then... Always has them revealing their entire structure. Not entire structure, but like things that they shouldn't be revealing, in my opinion. <laughs> I always feel like it's going to come back and bite them, but. And Birmingham City will win 1 0. I won't do it. If the police want to. up to the Peaky Binders is dangerous. And then threatening them in front of them is extra dangerous. I was in France. I will not take money to cheat. Good on you, Wilfred. Yeah. So I ran at the wire. A beating will make no difference. I know that. Because I can see it. Oh my God. In the bleak midwinter. Holy Mary, my little God. It's one for you to get blooded. Oh, you Billy. Uh, you've been with us for long enough. Oh God. No, they know, Billy. Oh Arthur, you were just reading the Bible. Look in your eyes, I think Billy embraced the the life because he had no choice, right? But this is taking it a step way too far. Oh my god. And Finn clearly said he wasn't a killer either. I know though, if the referee would have left that room, he would have gone to the newspapers, but... Oh my god, he put a cross on his forehead. What a juxtaposition. Fancy word? Do I get points? It, it's just so completely opposite. Like, Arthur... We saw this with Linda. Like, he, was, he would read the Bible. He would... The closest he got to being the light side was... Was whenever he was truly committed to Linda. Um, but this is... Like Alter's almost completely consumed with his with his rage. I can't tell if he still has hope of redemption. 
I know that may be a stupid question, but why is he reading the Bible, right? If he doesn't, it just seems like he's embracing, um, I guess, the darkness a little bit more, or maybe losing uh, to it. Because this whole season, he's been, he's just been completely addicted and lost to junk. Oh, the title is "The Road to Hell." That makes sense. You take him to the foundry. You ask for Mr. Patches, all right? Is that oh, really? I always thought Billy was going to be the one to um, find a way to bring down the Peaky Blinders. Oh, I'd be scared. That's ominous. Oh, my God. I hear you're the informant inside the Shelby organization. The informant? Who the fuck I am? Is the man you now work for. So he has been riding out on the Peaky Blinders. Oh my god. For YouTube, for the audience. He's wrapping the wire thing around Long John Silvers. Who as I say, ah. you stay a man. What the fuck you say? And you are gonna give us up his brother, Arthur. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, yes, oh my god yes, please what a twist of events so is is are you still going to be working with mosley jack to the murder of arthur shelby will save you jesus billy oh my god first of all that doesn't look like you could you need you don't feel like you need stitches i would have loved to i would love to have a show from of, of Jack Nelson in America, like his organization and his meeting with the president and how he hid both sides of the world, but directed like this, not like how, you know, like with the, with the, with the dialogue like this and, and whatnot. So a Peaky Blinders, but Jack Nelson, Chicago era, that would, that would be really cool. If you guys know something like that, please let me know. That, that character is just so intriguing to me. I love that era. It's interesting part of history. Yeah, if anyone can bring back out there, I think it is Linda. You know, maybe that's why his 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 character is so erratic and temperamental. Yeah, the sins I have concealed for so long was so. I wish Arthur would have retired. Keep saying that, but. I feel like that was his, well, that was the decision in the fork that now really led him downhill. Oh, so he saw that and, and wanted to leave. Maybe he won't be the future. Get a train to wherever the fuck you want to go. Get out. I don't ride trains. Right. And a horse for the hills. Which hills? All of them. Like a true oh, gypsy. I didn't take to that work in the betting shop. Well, you heard him, Charlie. I wonder if Tommy knows exactly what work he's referring to. I mean, most likely. I'm sure that Charlie, that news would have gone to him. Get here. Before you go, you want to know the truth about yourself? No. <laughs> Who does? Right? <laughs> That's spring and Appleby Fair. Your mother stole my watch and chain. The watch. The words Saxon Shore carved in it. I imagine she told you your dad was the Duke of the Saxon Shore. Well, I'm the Duke. I'm your father. Well, that's the truth. Did we see this? When her dad found out, he shot me in the chest with a squiddle gun. So all you need to know about yourself before you get on the road. I don't. I don't quite remember if this was actually shown to us or if this is just one of those periods that. We didn't see, but the show, you know, obviously is talking about. As my tells me, the spirits favor you. Ooh, is that a good thing or, or a bad she thing? Tried to sell me like one of those horses, didn't you? I remember that watch. At least Tommy's letting him go. Go wagon right front wheel is fucked, Tom. It's standing in the wet. But I know we're not Curly. Curly's the best, hands down. It's Curly and good. Alfie are my favorite. Yeah, the wagon's fixed. Fresh horses before the fairs. Talking about Alfie. 
Didn't we have a deal with him? Yeah. Like it better than that betting shop. Why? Charlie and Curly. The rest is dogs and horses. Curly is our horse himself. My kind of workplace Dogs too, okay. to be honest. I want to remain completely unknown. That's well, good. Our place for that as well. No one knows anyone here. He doesn't seem like he actually wants to take any of Mr. Tommy's accompli accomplishments. Where would I stay? Stables. I have a future for you, Duke. You already have a son. Our business is two sides, light and dark. I'll need someone for each. But the dark one is, is a big dark. sacrifice. Well, I guess not if I the individual... Yeah, okay. Dark if the dark. individual chooses it. We'll soon. But what if both of them are light? Duke doesn't Bloody seem like he's interested in any sort of ambition. You know what? What if both his sons are a reflection of Tommy's both sides? Well, I've... As if that's revolutionary. But truly, Duke is shoveling poo just like Tommy did to remind himself where he came from. We gotta know more about Charles. I don't think we've had enough exposure to him. Oh, goody. Booked a suite in a hotel a mile from here. Oh. Hmm. Oswald has fucked your wife, so. My suggestion is about balance and proportion. Oh. It's the only fair. Can I assume... Diane seems more in control of Oswald, Oswald, to be honest with you. This isn't about charitable housing. This is about changing the world. It's about a different kind of trust. Absolute trust. It's much harder to lie with your body than with your words. Sometimes I do things for the cause. In this case, it's both. Come. Oh, wow. Just doing this to prove that he's committed? What about Lizzie? In the interests of absolute clarity, that is simply the English aristocracy's way of shaking hands. Mm. You know what though, like, I know, remember when they had that big fight and Lizzie made the conditions of never in our home? So maybe she's I doubt she's okay with it, especially because it's Diane, but I don't think it'll break her. Yeah, let's add more to the guilt, right, Tom? Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, it's just so heavy. I wonder if every time he goes in the tunnel, if it's a seizure. Although it, it makes for a very nice little um a nice meaningful shot you know yeah he's drowning i love how the show physically shows you the meaning not the meaning but the weight of their of their emotions like the imagery that they give kind of gives you a better glimpse as to what they're carrying on their backs Versus just the dialogue, which the dialogue is phenomenal, and of course the actors. So it really, it, it, it's really. I think I personally, I think it's well done. I still can't handle the mustache. There will be a war in this family, and one of you will die. Aww. I appreciate them adding that scene the combination of the safe. Have you got new secrets? <laughs> oh, he's taking medicine. What are those tablets? Doctor gave them, mate. What pain? Any pain that comes, Lizzie. Yeah, it would be so frustrating for all these non-answers answers. <laughs> oh, being with Tommy Shelby definitely comes with a... Uh, conditions when you're ready i want you to tell me everything that's going on like the clock stopped ticking and i'm waiting for the bomb to explode like she's the only one that sees this i don't I think ada or arthur have seen that at all i will tell you everything oh that's gonna be an emotional conversation 
Because, you know, anyone can have money. You can fucking... <laughs> you can fucking find money. <laughs> the mannerisms that they put, the Four details money. of mannerisms that they put in these characters Show is amazing. You can steal money, am I right? And you, my friend, you're an American. You fucking smash the glass. You spill the blood and you spend their currency to get what you want. You're going to America. <sighs> to Canada. Was he? It's a collect payment for the shipment. I need to do it myself. Jack is convinced. Be going with you. Is he convinced Michael that Tommy's like him? Back. But five million dollars, Mr. Nelson. And that is a legacy. And when I come back, I will know everything. Okay, so when he comes back, he'll I tell Lizzie everything. So clearly in you, Thomas Shelby. Oh. No. Interesting. The world sees Tommy in a way, and, and I think us, the audience, sees him in another way. That's why we're so conflicted. Excuse me. Like Jack doesn't. I don't think he understands the the small interaction between him and Lizzie. We were on our way to my constituency in Smethwick, and I heard oh, our fun. American friend was in Birmingham, and that he was coming here. It is remarkable how quickly our relationships have developed. So many triangles in this room. Oh, dear Jesus, part of a triangle. I have confirmation that the future of Europe is in the hands of men like yourselves. A two-week visit may have changed the course of history. We all got what we wanted. Yes. And I got what I have wanted from the moment I set eyes on it. Oh. To have each day what I have only sampled once. Oh my god. Is <laughs> he? Looks like Oswald doesn't care at all. Forgive us, Mr. Nelson. That was a necessary bit of housekeeping. We do so hate to be indiscreet, but we have told you many times. Sooner or later, you will have to find a spouse who's more suitable. I don't. I don't even know if Jack cares about social standing she like that. Deserve you, Mr. Shelby. I feel like Oswald's obsessed with it. You know the thing is, Mosley. You're right. She doesn't deserve what I am. She doesn't deserve what I will become. What will you become? Truth is, I belong here at this table with fuckers like you. Oh. This is she the first time I, I, I think he hasn't played nice. But all I try to hide it. <laughs> I'm just one of you. Could there be a sadder ending? Right? Take a little wow. Freaking revelation. Like, because we know Tommy's always said that he has to do bad for the good, right? Like, the the orphanages, his family, things like that. But at the end of the day, he still has caused a lot of pain. And essentially, for his own selfish reasons. Nothing like facing death than making you face yourself, huh? Does the good outweigh the bad? Mr. Nelson's prepared to get you out of here. But first, he needs an answer to a question. I have consulted my mother. Her well, mother's dead. Bella Gypsy. Nevertheless, I have consulted her. And yes, when I'm released, it is my intention to kill Tommy Shelby. Oh. He's a god. He's a man. Oh my god. Okay, yes, he 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 what if he interpreted wrong? What if both Polly and him interpreted it wrong? What if they Polly's uh message was actually that he Tommy was gonna get sick? And event he's going to die in a year. He's going to die. So what if Michael <sighs> No. The next episode of things gonna be really important. It's where things are gonna come together. I really truly believe this. Um this is this is sad. <laughs> you warned me. This is all terribly sad, and I hope Lizzie can recover after the last little comment from Diane. Oh, she's something else. And honestly, right now with Jack saying that he, oh right, obviously Jack said that he wants to kill Tommy Shelby at the at the steam room and author, but you know he's faking that he's going to work with Tommy Shelby. But then remember we have that contract with Alfie, so. Episode six, here we come. I'm nervous. What's going to be the true intentions of everybody? How is this all going to play out? How is this all going to tie together? I don't 
No. <laughs> oh, this has been a definitely wild ride. I love the exaggerated characters of the show. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate how there's always two sides to every character. Because in reality, for the most part, I think humans are complex. And we really do have two sides. Um, or we, we really do... You know, in some things, it's not as black as and white, right? Um, so yeah, this has been re really fun. Thank you so much for watching episode five with me. I'll see you guys in the season finale. If you like this video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you want to be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day